All right, Gerald, thanks so much for coming out and uh, working with me today. I really appreciate, uh, gosh, you drove a long way, three and a half hours each way. It says a lot about you, your motivation, love for the game. And um, that was all the motivation I needed as a, as a teacher, that's for sure. So good player, okay? You've uh, been a good player all these years and you basically just got a little bit lost. You've got a two-way miss going. You love to hit a soft draw. That is just uh, uh, not something you've been doing of late. And I'm gonna explain exactly why that is, okay? So good balance on the left. Um, as you would imagine from a good player, you're nicely balanced between your toes and heels. You probably can get a little bit more pitch forward we'll talk about that a little bit later but we're going to run into the goal swing here and kind of get things underway and you get the club around the corner a little bit early just get it a little bit flat a little bit too far behind you i'm just going to kind of freeze frame this thing left arm parallel and look at it from face on and this is where you're going to see i've got no issue with the club starting first uh, the concern i have is that you basically have very very limited mobility in your hips right which is what i see all the time. You can only rotate your shoulders so far. Imagine sitting in a chair trying to turn your shoulders, uh, you know, probably get to about 45 degrees at the very most. You demonstrate this right here because your hips aren't going any further. So there's absolutely no chance of you getting your hands deep enough at the top with your turn. You're going to have to try and do it with your hands and arms. You've got no space. You lift, your elbows separate, and then we're in this very vertical orbit right here where the hands are kind of above the toe line very very steep and then we're going to come down on the ball way too vertical from there the body's going to have to stop moving in order for the hands to work back out in front of you you've got to sort of superficially shallow the golf club here body's going to have to stop hands and arms keep going there's you shallowing out the bottom of your arc which causes the club to release early boom early release you're going to hit some poor draws from there all day long with your old release pattern. You love to hit draws, but unfortunately, that club's exiting too far left, isn't it, right? Too steep. Club exits left. Club comes out too low. And there it is. You see how low that's coming out. So your issue is your pivot without any question at all. You've got to get your hands above your heel line. That's the goal. We're going to move your hands back here, and we're going to do it with a better turn. So this is the first phase of the lesson. This is kind of where you were before. We're gonna move on to drills here next. So next phase was just a couple really simple drills. Uh, hug drill on the left, club across your shoulders. Make sure that right shoulder is lower than your left as much as your right hand is lower than your left on the golf club. I see people getting too level when they do this drill. Uh, drill on the right is one of my favorites uh, called the high ho drill, just like the seven dwarfs. They got their pat lunches over their shoulder. That's what you're going to do with the golf club here. So we basically were trying to train you to move your hips completely different, completely different pattern in terms of rotating your body. And you do a really wonderful job here. You got this very, very quickly. Just unlocking that lower body, right? So instead of stalling, there's your shoulder rotation. You are done at that point. If I had you sit in a chair and... Uh, Again, as we get a little older, obviously we're less mobile. That's completely understandable. But if you sat in a chair and I said, turn your shoulders, you'd probably get to about here and you'd stop. Perfectly normal. Again, because you're sitting in a chair, your hips are dislocated. They're not in use. They're not you know, able to engage them, okay? But here we can see as we get to here, instead of stopping, you then engage your lower body. And what you're doing is getting that right hip. You can see your quadriceps straightening a little bit there. I've got no problem with that right knee straightening, despite what you may see. I've got no problem with it straightening a little bit. Uh, and you can see you've got your back to the target. So what we've got here is we've got to look here where that right leg is banking really, really well. Okay, so that look right there is amazing compared with the way it looked before. Very, very up and down. That right hip was moving too laterally, if you recall. Um, and then on the right, let's get on with this drill, which I absolutely love. And uh, I'll get out of the way here and... And kind of kind of showing you what's what a couple of times here and just educating you, kind of giving the feel. And then uh, watch this all on your own. There we go. I get out of the way and off you're off to the races. Here we go. So again, look at the lower body. Boom, 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 boom. Look at where that right hip is. My goodness. Got your knees rotating, your right hips way behind you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give that little magic stretch at the top. Right there, you see your hands are out to the side of you. And then all of a sudden, I just was amazed at how good this sequence started to look on the downswing. You're starting to really look like a golfer here. I mean, that looks pretty, 
salty there, doesn't it? You agree? So you just you know, immediately started slotting this thing absolutely beautifully. Look at that look right there. And uh, I didn't give you one swing thought on the way down. I just, you just got great natural talent. You just were stuck. You didn't really have a chance. So all of a sudden from in here, boom, within two minutes, you're hitting high draws. That was pretty quick. So I want to do a little angle face on as well, but hopefully you can see here the improvement in terms of how your body is pivoting and you're getting nice and deep now with your hands, but you're doing it with your pivot. Okay. You're not, you're not trying to get back there with your arms. So, all right, go ahead and look at you down the line in a second. All right. So this was right at the end of the lesson and got the before and after here, full swing, full speed at the end. Very, very challenging. Big difference in your setup, isn't it? You see how your forearms and shoulders are nicely set up for the draw, not too close, but feet, boy, oh boy, oh boy, was that a breakthrough. So getting your feet in this closed position, highly recommend uh, for those of you struggling to get rotated. Uh, just make sure you don't get your forearms and shoulders too far right. Uh, but you've given yourself a head start here and that made the difference. That was kind of the key. So Go to the top of the backswing, as discussed, a lot of lift here, uh, hands way above the toe line, going to be a very vertical orbit, no chance from there, very, very difficult, club's going to exit left, no way to hit soft draws, go to the top of the backswing here, just a slightly different look, isn't it, you agree, go to the top over here, yeah, I think we can probably do some damage from there, my man. So now all of a sudden you've got your hands above your heel line. But the thing I love about it is, you, you know, you didn't cheat, right? You didn't, you didn't do it with your arms. You didn't drag your arms inside. What you did here is, you know, we definitely got your feet a little more staggered, but you've got your hips rotating. Look at your lower body. Everyone look at the waist down. Absolutely no comparison. Uh, and from there, obviously, you got a shot at it, right? I mean, that's ultimately the situation. So as you're coming into impact here, we know that on the, on the left here, when you started, that club's way too steep. It's working down. It's working across. Club's basically out through your neck. Uh, and then from that deeper position with your turn, with your new turn, you've still got a little bit of your old pattern. You've still got a little bit of lift here. Okay, just a hair. But I mean, look how much more the club's coming from the inside. That's not even close, is it? Right? So now when you exit, look look at that. I mean, look where the club's coming on the way through. Look, 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 look. There's your high draw there. We love that, don't you? Look at that. Fantastic, right there. Look at that exit. Are you kidding me? So, I mean, that's pretty dynamic there. That club's coming out way, way, way higher. That club's coming out way too low here on the left. Uh, and again, you've had some shoulder surgery on that left side. So we're never getting that left elbow down. We talked about that. I got to meet you where you are. I'm not going to try and fit you into some kind of a model golf swing here but that was awesome i mean this thing was absolutely flush high draw right onto your target all right so awfully well done very proud of you i mean it just felt so good at the end to see you hitting those draws and all stems from that one foundation of change just getting your pivot better uh, and then let everything else take you know take care of itself you do not have to think about anything but just starting a little right and and then go out there and play some golf. All right, well done today.